On the path of forgiveness, Jesus Christ's atoning power can flow into our lives and begin to heal the deep crevices of the heart and soul. The Lord has said, I, the Lord, will forgive whom I will forgive, but out of you it is required to forgive all men. The Lord requires us to forgive for our own good, but he does not ask us to do it without his help, his love, his understanding. Through our covenants with the Lord, we can receive strengthening power, guidance, and the help we need to both forgive and to be forgiven. Please know that forgiving someone does not mean that you put yourself in a position where you continue to be hurt. We can work toward forgiving someone and still feel prompted by the Spirit to stay away from them. To all that are brokenhearted, captive, bruised, and perhaps blinded or hurt by sin, He offers healing, recovery, and deliverance. I testify that that healing and recovery He offers is real. The timing of that healing is individual, and we cannot judge another's timing. It is important to allow ourselves the necessary time to heal and to be kind to ourselves in the process. The Savior is ever merciful and attentive and stands ready to provide the succor we need. I testify that the greatest example of love and forgiveness is that of our Savior Jesus Christ, who in bitter agony said, Father, forgive them, for they know not what they do. I know that our Father in heaven desires goodness and hope for each of his children. Jesus Christ is your personal Messiah, your loving Redeemer and Savior, who knows the pleadings of your heart. He desires your healing and happiness. He loves you. He weeps with you in your sorrows and rejoices to make you whole. We may take heart and take his loving hand that is ever extended as we walk the healing path of forgiveness is my prayer in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen.